We're now moving back to type and we'll spend quite a few videos here going over all the different ways of adding type into your document. I brought back up our Panda book document because this one had you know, multiple pages on it. Here we go. Let's just go back to our first page. And we'll just start off with just the absolute basics. I'm going to put our Panda down here someplace. We'll put in a bit of text right up here. So you go over here to the text tool and you click and hold. Again this has the text and the table on that. All we really care about right now is just the text. And let's zoom in a little bit here. I'm just using the scroll wheel when I do that on my mouse to scroll in and out. You can do that at any time. So to put text on a page just click and it gives you an assertion point at that spot. Or you can click and drag and create a text box. We'll be looking at that in just a little bit. Let's just back up out of that. Here we go. So let's do just real straight text. Click and then begin typing. You can do multiple lines if you want to and even you know, leave empty lines just by hitting another enter key for another return line on that. You know, whatever it is you happen to do. Now notice that this does give us a bounding box in here. It's not a text box like we saw and we'll be doing those again later, a little paragraph text frame, but it is a, a bounding box. And I can change the size of that bounding box by pulling on the corner and notice how that does change the layout of the text. So you actually can come in and you know play around with your text after the fact. Now when you're here, you can change the text. Just go ahead and scroll over your text. And you can adjust things. Notice up here I have an object size in there, width and height. X and Y position on this. We have our rotation. I can actually rotate this at a different angle if I wanted to. I can change the font size. And of course I can you know, come in here and just use my little options. Notice as I do this, if I'm just kind of hovering over that, you get a preview of what it's going to look like. So there's a 24 point. And this is all in one text box, but I can change the text individually. You're not stuck with just the, you know, all of your text the same size in the same set of text. You can adjust the text individually. I even can come in and change the typeface. Let's go here to an Arial Black on that. So you can have different typefaces and different sizes and different settings all in the same text field. You're not limited in any way on that. When you have your text you can come in here and, and move it around and grab your pick tool. You can move it around. Again I can adjust things like that with the pick tool as well. And this are our little control handles in here. We actually can work with these individual letters. There's ways of breaking this apart to work with your individual letters if you want to. Let's look at our rotation up here. I'm going to rotate this 15 degrees. There we go. 15 degree rotation just like that. Let's just back up a couple of steps. So easy as you can see to put text on a page and then to modify and adjust that text. You just want to move around the text as an object just use the pick tool. It's all you need. If you want to come in and move individual letters as I just did here you can use the shape tool and actually grab individual letters and move individual letters around. So you have a lot of control over this. So the text kind of works like type and it kind of works like objects. Just put it back up where it is. If you want to work with the text itself, just make sure you're on the text tool and then you can come in and work with your text. Notice that red underline. That's just that Google doesn't, or Corel Draw rather, doesn't know what this word Google means and so it's giving me a spelling hint that I should double check the spelling on that. Of course we know what this is, we know it's spelled correctly, so I'm not going to be worrying about that. If you right click though, you will get options in here to check your spelling. So we can take a look at this and you know, goggle, googly, gaggle, giggle, 
That kind of works sometimes on Google. Spell check, and you can also look up a thesaurus to try to find other options for that. Okay, so that's the basics then on working with your type list. Now, go in and look at a lot of specifics in here on our text. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.